I just wanted to let you know that everything is okay, your baby's perfectly healthy, and we can expect to meet the new arrival to the family on schedule in six months. Thank you so much. Thanks, Doctor. In fact, we're at the stage where I could probably tell you the sex of the baby, if you wanted. So soon? These new machines are so advanced, we can tell you more about your child than ever before. Really? So tell us! Oh, uh, sorry, do you think we should know? I'm not too sure, I mean, I'd love to know, but maybe we'll leave it, kind of make it the best surprise. Yeah, no, I, I guess you're right. It's just, you know, my birthday's coming up soon, and it would make it even a more special day if I found out we were having a little baby you, or a little baby me. Go on, so. <laughs> okay. So you were having a little baby boy. Yes! <gasps> yeah! That's right, a boy named George. George? Wait, who's George? George, your, your son, George. That's the name you chose? Why would we choose George? It's what the test results came back with. What? That's not, how is that possible? I get to choose the name if it's a boy and I choose Kevin. Well, the, the test results don't lie. They say his name is George. And it says here that you didn't pick his name. No, no. We discussed this, didn't we? Well, it's just, I was never so on board with Kevin. It's kind of a nothing name. Well, I'm not on board with Kevin. What's wrong with Kevin? Well, name me one Kevin who's ever achieved anything. Ever. Well, name me a George that's done better than a Kevin. George Harrison. Yeah. He's a Beatle. Uh, George the yeah. Second. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves a sequel. And uh, George Best. That's in the name. Yeah. I suppose we're going with George, so. Good. So, Doctor, uh, before you told us you could let us know more than ever before. Sure. We have some more information, if you'd both like to know. Yeah, fine, whatever. I'd be a little excited. Please tell us more, Doctor. What we have is, we know that little George is born a perfectly healthy baby boy, who for the first number of years of his life is a, a normal child, going to school, playing football, bullying his little sister. We have a daughter? Oh, um... Uh, What's her name? Clarissa. Clarissa? I love that show. Can we stick to one child at a time, please? Uh, I think that's best. One day before George's 10th birthday, you discover him wearing a dress. And at first you think it's no big deal, he's just playing around, but when he keeps doing it, you try to stop it. God, I can't believe you wouldn't let our child be who he is. Has Lady Gaga taught you nothing? Hold on, I haven't done anything yet. May I continue? And for the record, it was you who were against the dresses, not your husband. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, after a while he grows out of the cross-dressing phase, he discovers that with the love and support of his family, he can be whoever he chooses to be. And that person is a man. Well, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. And then he gets really into bugs. Bugs? What do you mean, bugs? It just says bugs. Well, like David Attenborough, bugs are computer bugs, like he's hacking into computers in the government and that. I don't think so. The file reads, George gets sweaty into bugs. Sweaty? That's a horrible adjective. <laughs> it, it, it just says that he, you get so concerned about it, you, you try to push him back into the cross-dressing. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. I thought we accepted his cross-dressing. Listen, I, I was the first one to accept his cross-dressing, but I mean, when parents have to force our teenager into cross-dressing... Well, he's not a teenager when this is happening. Well, how old is he then? 32. 32? Oh, Jesus! Where did we go wrong? Well, it says here that you inhaled secondhand smoke, which leads to him developing quite a prominent hump on his back. You never said anything about a hump. It developed late. And it also says that you stopped playing Mozart's Symphony No. 40 in G minor, four measures early, after your wife fell asleep. Well, that leads to him prematurely ejaculating with his first girlfriend. She dumps him, and it all sort of spirals from there. Why did you do that? All of the books say if you play the music to the child, it'll increase their intelligence. I didn't know Mozart was going to make our child impotent. We didn't follow his rules. Okay, doctor, can you please tell us something, anything that'll let us know our, our child's going to be successful? Oh, bald? Well, that's no good. Oh, here we go. He becomes the leader, CEO even, of an entire group. So, oh, guess we'll leave it at that then. No, oh, come on, doctor, tell us more about this group. No, it's getting late. Come on, Doctor, tell us a bit more. I have other patients. Is he the leader in a group of stockbrokers making millions in the stock exchange? Yeah, he's probably like a leader of them, like environmental lawyers, like taking on evil corporations or something like that. 
or working with caregivers in impoverished countries, yeah. giving money to those in yeah. need. Well, okay, he wouldn't, he wouldn't travel there. No. He would send the money from his beach house in Barbados. Oh, Barbados. 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 So, doctor, are, are we in the ballpark? Yep. Okay, which part? All of it. All of it. Yep. What does it really say? It says that he brings together a group of people dedicated to overthrow the Master Zozo. So, I'm sorry, who? You don't know what now? To overthrow the demon Master Zozo that lives in his sock drawer. Oh, Jesus Christ. George runs a cult. Yes, but the history is, is fascinating. Dear God. You mean dear Zozo? But he, he does run this cult. And he has over eight followers, including Clarissa. Not Clarissa, too. You're not happy that it's a family affair, no. I mean, he could have got a job in the post office. He'd be Zozo yeah. and Bugs. What's going on? If it's any consolation, Mr. and Mrs. Brennan, George and Clarissa go on to have a long and happy marriage together. Hold on a second. We're not the Brennans. No, we're the Brannigans. Oh, so you are. Sorry, my fault. I have your file here somewhere. Your child is perfectly healthy. Go. Good luck.